Hello? Daniel? Yes, I'm here. <laughs> Pretend cooking shows first and possible. Only ever guest, Daniel Mukditi, who has pizza on up. Yes. Uh, Los Angeles is big new pizza craze that everyone flips about, but he's an old friend of mine. Yes. So he came over to make pizza with me. This is tomato sauce. All it yeah. is, uh, it's a can of Marzano. San Marzano. San Marzano. Whole peeled tomatoes, and yes. we smash them, and then we add that. a little salt. That's, That's it. it. Okay. I usually put mine in the blender. Do you really do it by hand? We do it by hand. Okay. Done. That's enough salt? That's enough salt. No oil. No this garlic. Like no Nothing. oregano. Nothing. Nothing. You've been really gentle with your tomato. Oh, really? Yeah, just smash it. I think we are not right. You're delightful. First thing I learned, don't put them in the blender. Now we're gonna make the dough. Three cup of bread flour, a teaspoon, we okay. put it in the water. Do you want any sugar in there? No, no sugar. I'm gonna add another cup of flour. Yeah, easy. And I like your technique too. I don't even have to tell you, just from the bottom and then in the center. We are at four and a half cups. You can see that the dough is starting to get air, yeah. right? Yeah. So we're ready for the salt. What a half. Yes. Daniel. That's a lot of salt. Okay. Wait, I want a little flour in my face. What I like to do at this point, because I don't want to break it, break it up too much, I take one side and knead the center. You just form a bowl. Just to let it rest for two, three minutes, the gluten will relax and then we will mix it again and this will become really smooth. So you're chilling out for two or three minutes? Chill it out. Just chill. Yeah. Knock yourself out. It's always good to have a fly flying through your uh, kitchen. Think it's ready? Yeah, it will become smooth. That's it. That's it. Okay. You're done. It's a baby butter now. <coughs> i see you in an hour. Yeah. See you in an hour. Yeah. In the meantime, Daniel brought some from Pizzana. Yep. Ah! We have a lot of air inside, so what we have to do, we have just to transport the air into the crust. So I just push the air. And then, oh. Oh. They look pretty similar. Uh-huh. Little bit of all water on the crust. Oh my gosh, I never did that. Okay. Just go with your hand. We're not gonna put cheese right now. Oh. We're gonna put cheese the last two, three minutes that we're gonna bake it. That's not so good. Do we turn it like you would in a pizza oven? No, you don't need to because in the pizza oven, the source of heat is on one side. When I do pizza in my house, that's the way I do it. Though. Okay, okay. You use so much more sauce than I thought you did. Yes, we do. And I use a lot of basil. Before to put it, blow it. Just on top. Yeah, is that ready? Yeah. The cheese? Yeah. What do you not have nerve? And back in the oven. How long? I think another two, three minutes. Just the time for the cheese to melt. And then I'm hungry. Meanwhile, I'll get here. Why not? Some pepperoni too. Do you need wine? Mmm, that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> it's crispy, this one. And you see, look, we're talking about flop, right? Oh, cheers. 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 Mm -hmm. We're gonna make pepperoni. Oh, no. Can I use my. You wanna taste these too? Yes, of course. Lord have mercy! Lord! Yes! There you go! Wow! It looks delicious! <laughs> Cheers! Cheers. Mm. Bye! Thank you for watching Pretend Cooking Show! <laughs> Thank you guys! Daniel made us feel very legitimate, but we're just pretend! <laughs> <laughs> Ciao! That's mm. delightful!